The morning was placid enough, but the juveniles in the raft of gulls were still growing agitated. Stifled in their grays and browns, they were calling back and forth. They were all sitting in the sun, rolling with the swells on the open ocean, but with their heads held high, they could not easily see what was going on below. The juveniles felt like sitting ducks, vulnerable to attack from beneath, and now the water was brightening all around. Something had seen them there on the surface and was rising up from underneath. Soon the yearling birds leapt squawking into the sky and headed for the horizon. The adults were not as flustered. They had not seen the torpedo shapes of the predators that threatened floating birds. Something was definitely coming up toward them, but it was coming gradually. As the water continued to brighten, they all finally kicked into the air. One by one they banked into wide, circling turns. They cried out to each other, looking down from above on what was coming up from below. The top of the rising pillar was a circle at least ten feet in diameter. The water sighed and ran off as the disc broke the surface. The parting waves revealed a huge, broad fish. The birds watched, keeping their distance above, calling back and forth now and then. But the fish did not move. It just floated there as if it was dead, staring blankly up at the sun, inviting them to touch down. So the inquisitive gulls descended. The birds were reminded of the firm ground of an island, though the nearest shore was miles away. One of the gulls off to the side put down its feet to slow its flight. Nothing happened. The living island was a sunfish. After the example of their leader, the other gulls touched down. Walking around was like foraging across a beach, and the animal life to be found here was more accessible and more diverse than on most exposed reefs or sandbars. And to the bird's excitement, all of these things were edible, and there for the taking. With the appearance of this sunfish, a promising day of foraging had presented itself out of the deep blue.